really, when you talk about polio or infantile paralysis, you, you must in the United States begin with FDR, with President Roosevelt. He got it at the age of 39 in 1921 and spent the rest of his life really trying to find the cure and the prevention. He never found the cure. He died in 1945 still having polio. But what Roosevelt did was to put together a voluntary organization that was absolutely extraordinary. Roosevelt's organization was called the National Foundation for Infantile Paralysis, which later became the March of Dimes. It started in 1938. And its goal was to collect money to do research to conquer children's diseases, and polio was its primary target. A dime was the currency of the time that was a meaningful contribution from a child. Their door-to-door -door fundraising program was called the Mother's March. Fight polio tonight. Let the marching mothers know you're waiting for them. I remember uh, going out with my mother uh, on the Mother's March, and you would go around the neighborhood, and if the light were on on the front porch, then I would go to the house and collect a little cardboard thing that had inserts for coins to go in and we would gather those and ship those, literally, to the White House. The dimes came pouring in. In the first year, more than a million dollars worth. Polio became a national cause, headed by the president. They got celebrities like Mickey Rooney and Marilyn Monroe and Elvis Presley. And I mean, I have a picture in my book of a very uncomfortable Richard Nixon pumping gas for polio. These were Americans pulling together and they were pulling together to some degree because this was a children's disease. And having a visual disease where you saw leg braces and you saw crutches and you saw iron lungs was something that was simply intolerable to the American conscience. And they united as a people to do away with it.